Welcome to the server room, or the mechanical room, or the garage. This is what we are working with. Yeah, bit of a mess. So this is our server rack as it is. It's kind of evolved across time with the business. Um, it's all been working fine. We've got all our switches and stuff and the power. I was quite proud of that power when I put it in. But now things have expanded. That firewall's been changed out for a Sophos unit. That's Cat5 wiring. And that big bunch of purple cables, the newer stuff is, because we've got a shit ton bunch of servers up top here that just don't have a home. So I know people are going to ask, why the hell do you need so many servers? Well, this one here is our asterisk server for the business. This is our business file server, this little Dell unit here. And this was all done before I started YouTube. When I started YouTube, I had to have some file storage, so that was these two NASs down here. Uh, but the performance of these has been a bit sporadic and slow. Uh, basically the white one, the Synology box, is our YouTube work. And this one here is our personal photos and file storage and videos and you know personal guff that's not related to the business. Since YouTube, uh, we've built these servers. So this one at the end here is a little Fujitsu server. That's actually got two uh, accounts virtual machines on there that our accountants use to do our file, do our books and you know accounts for the business. And then these two here, this is YouTube Deep Storage. And this is our current project's server workload and there's a little backup drive on top there. So those, I know they're not rack mount servers, or well, these two here aren't rack mount servers, but they can just lay on their side in the rack and just be a little bit neater that way. Just completed the Cat6 wiring. Um, I'm not a professional wirer, I've done the best I can. Um, but all this cabling, we've put, I think, 40 points in. Uh, that all runs up across the garage roof. Wee! Good as it can be. Well, as good as I can get it, up. Uh, where's the hole? Uh, da, 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 da. Somewhere up there. Let's see if we can get a better shot of it. There we go. That runs up through a hole that we had drilled into our office and then distributes out through the rest of the house from there. LC fibre, which will be going into the servers. Just going to bolt this together. Just waiting on this server to finalise updates. And once that's finalised, that server will go down. All of this mess needs to be stripped out and back in on the new cable structure. It's currently about 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon. It's got to be back up for 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, or 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, not ideal. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the panel on the front of that, it disappeared. God, that freaks me out. Oh, look. <laughs> Tell server one, but it wasn't connected to the UPS. Don't oh! help! I've got empty rack syndrome. PDU's in the back. Cabling sort of in. A few more bits to tidy up. Oh, yeah, it didn't look too bad. Remember, this is a home rack, really. We've got the switches in. So top switch for the main network, TP-Link switch for the wireless network, and the little one at the bottom there, which is PoE for the phones. And we've got the Sophos in the rack, finally, after three years of having it. Woohoo, done! Apart from one server, which wouldn't fit. Bastard. Never mind, that'll go on top again. <laughs> yeah, we've got some 10 gig fibre links in there now. Just got to save up for the rest of it to uh, put the cards in the servers. Got everything in, apart from one server, which has had to go up there. But the rest, yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. Good enough. Good enough for the girls I go out with. <laughs>